Hi, I'm Mr. O, coming to you from inside our Sights and Scene exhibit, sponsored by Oxy and the William Stamps Farish Fund. One of the things that people always comment about in here is one of the really unique effects about Sights and Scene, the fluorescence. I'm going to explain fluorescence in a moment, but first I want you to see what it looks like. So we're going to turn out the lights for a moment. I want you to pan on over and take a look around the room. And you're going to see all sorts of things glowing inside this room. Now, in some cases, like our clouds, those are actually lit from inside. They have a little light bulb in them. But all the trees that you see and everything else, all those glows are caused by fluorescence. So if we turn that back on, all right. So what is fluorescence? Well, fluorescence is basically, like I said, a glowing effect. And it's created by ultraviolet light. If we take a look up at the ceiling, you'll see that we have all these black lights. Now, black lights are basically the violet colored lights that you see around the room. The one right above me is actually blinking, and so you're gonna see some really interesting effects from that today. But the violet that you see is inside our visible spectrum. The ultraviolet, you can't see. So when we talk about seeing things with black lights, it's not the violet, it's the stuff that you can't see. So if we take a look here, at our ultraviolet light spectrum. We have our normal light spectrum here. We have red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet. But beyond violet, that's our ultraviolet range. And humans can't see ultraviolet, but bees and birds can. Bees and other insects actually use ultraviolet rays to get attracted to flowers. There's patterns on flowers we can't see because we can't see an ultraviolet and birds can use ultraviolet to actually hunt all those insects. So being able to see ultraviolet is very beneficial to them. We can't see it, but we can see the effects of it through, as I already said, fluorescence. So with fluorescence, what's happening is the ultraviolet rays get absorbed and then the material or the color releases that light, that energy, but in a visible light spectrum. So let me say that again. Ultraviolet light gets absorbed, the light we can't see. The material then releases that same energy, but in the form of light we can see. Let me give you some examples here. So over here, I've got four cool looking rocks. Now these rocks are already kind of cool looking, even on their own, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna press the button here, and that's gonna turn off that white light and turn on an ultraviolet light. And what you'll see very quickly is that these rocks are actually glowing. Some of them are glowing quite spectacularly. So again, the ultraviolet light is being absorbed by the materials inside the rocks, and then the rocks are releasing that light in the form of a visible light we can see. Now, here's another example of it in actual use. Here's how we have applied it. So all these objects in here have actually been handled by someone. And let's just say, though, we need to check their fingerprints. Well, it's very hard to see the fingerprints uh, normally, especially on really heavily patterned surfaces or colored surfaces. You may have seen on some procedurals where they use a black dust to dust for prints. Well, in reality, they can also use these fluorescent dusts. And those dusts show up very nicely under ultraviolet light. And you can very clearly see where those fingerprints are, and you're able to lift those prints much more easily. So there's also several dyes. So let me show you an example here. If we take a look at all these cool pipe cleaners here, and I got some really nice looking pipe cleaners here. I got a nice purple, an orange, a green, a yellow, and a blue. Now if we turn out the lights and just let the UV light shine, you'll notice that the purple, uh, I mean, excuse me, the orange and the green are glowing. The purple, the yellow, and the blue aren't. So these are natural dyes that will glow under UV light. They absorb the light we can't see and release it as light that we can. One more really fun thing is this. This is a secret message pin. So I can write a message in secret and then under normal light, once we get to cool off a little bit, uh, dry, it's kind of hard to see it. Now you might see it a little bit because it's still drying, but eventually it'll completely dry into something you can't see. But the moment we turn out the light, 
you can see it. Now it might be a little hard to see just because of the camera, but if I add a little extra brightness here, this is just a little handheld UV light, and this is just another handheld black light. It's an LED black light. Uh, you can very clearly see that ink. Again, it's absorbing the light we can't see. It's not absorbing this light here that we can see. It's absorbing the UV light being released and then releasing it as visible light we can see. And you can get these sorts of fun little toys online like these little UV lights or these pens and other things. You can get them all online so that you can experience fluorescence at home. Now, one of the big questions I'm often asked is, why don't things fluoresce out in the sun? Isn't there UV light in the sun? Well, yeah, there is. The problem is that there's a lot of visible light from the sun too. So things aren't going to fluoresce well underneath all that bright light. Just like we have to turn out the lights constantly in here for you to see things fluoresce right now. All right, I'm Mr. O from Sights Unseen, sponsored by Oxy and the William Stamps Farish Fund. Hope you have a great day.